Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. So today I've got a few comic books here I'm going to show you and then hopefully down in the comments um, let me know what ones you would like for me to review next. So these ones here on the top are um, two shots for Convergence. The Convergence storyline had a whole bunch of tie-in comics, uh, like a whole bunch, um, like 80 books. And I have about 50 of them. So I remember for sure there's 95 comics in the whole Convergence, and the volume has eight, eight of the comics. Um, eight or nine, but, but there were a bunch of ones and twos that were tie-ins that went with Convergence. And that was the main thing I was looking at, because they're pretty cool. Their stories all, you know, wrap up within those two issues. So that was really cool. And it was a good way for me, um, when this event was going, to really find out more about characters I didn't know about at the time and different parts of the DC universe. So a lot of people don't like Convergence. For some reason it gets a lot of hate. Um, but I actually haven't been reading comics for that long, you know, maybe three or four years. And, <clears throat> excuse me, books like Convergence and Crisis on Infinite Earths and stuff like that that have a whole bunch of different characters from throughout the DC universe really helped me learn a lot really quickly. So these two are the Justice League International ones. I mostly, I put them on front here because I really like the cover. So those are pretty cool. The thing about Convergence too is it's characters from throughout the entire DC history, but also different versions of them. So for instance here, you've got Swamp Thing, and then you have Batman is from the Red Rain universe. So this is the vampire uh, Batman. So they end up meeting them. And I have another one. I didn't bring it over here, but I have another one that's really cool. It's the, um, a lot of people are excited right now because of the animated movie they announced for Gotham by Gaslight. So that's another one I could review. I have the Shazam crossover and it's really cool. It's the Fawcett universe meets the, um, Gotham by Gaslight universe. So that's really cool. But anyways, this is Swamp Thing. Um, the Swamp Thing Convergence. And I liked it. He meets the Red Rain universe. So that's really cool. I would explain Convergence, but it, I, I don't have enough time on a cell phone video. Uh, basically, the supervillain took a bunch of cities from the DC universe and put them on a planet and pitted them against each other. So that's what all these two shots are about. This one's pretty cool too. It's Wonder Woman and she's again, uh, this is another one where they're crossed over with the Red Rain universe. So this is number one of that series. And then as you can see here, she meets the vampire Joker. So that's pretty cool. I won't spoil it for you, but it's it's actually a really good story. A lot happens in these two issues. So there's those, and then I have the um, Parallax. I thought I thought some people might like to see that. Green Lantern 1 and 2, Parallax. So that's pretty cool. I have a whole ton of Convergence books, so pretty much any of the tie-ins you want, I can do a review on. So there's those, and then I've also got just one issue from Batman 66. So if you want to see more Batman 66, I did some of his crossovers like with the Legion of Superheroes and Wonder Woman, but I have one comic from his mainline story. So that's issue 30. If you'd like to see me review that one. And this one looked kind of cool. It's uh, it's called Red Daughter of Krypton. I got this from a bargain bin, but I've seen online sometimes where Supergirl is a Red Lantern, so I thought that was pretty cool. The Red Blackest Night and Murrah became a Red Lantern, but I haven't seen Supergirl Red Lantern yet. And don't worry, I didn't forget. This is the one that basically won last time. It got the most feedback. 
So I haven't forgotten, I'm going to review Stormwatch number one. And then, last but not least, I have these two. They're a little bit older uh, by today's standards. I mean, they're not really old if you've been collecting comics for very long, but, you know, for me, they're, they're, they're pretty old. You know, I'm glad to have them. But anyways, this issue is kind of cool. Lois, let's see, it's Action Comics 662, so that's from February 1991. And in this issue, Lois, you know, it's it's like the secret revealed. It's a big shocker. Lois finally figures out Clark Kent is Superman. So that was a big deal. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Might do a review of that. So and then also Superman 123 by Dan Jurgens. So this is a pretty well known issue. Most people will probably know it just by the cover. So those are your choices. We got a bunch of Convergence books, uh, well, some old school action comics. Well, not really old school. Old school would be from the 30s. But you know, got some, got some stuff there. So let me know what you would like to see me review next. And as always, thanks for watching. I have a lot of fun making these videos. I'll do a regular, like, uh, conventional video in the video editor probably next time, but just a quick video for today. So, thanks for watching, and as always, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, share these videos, hit the bell for notifications, and um, my email's on the About page, so if you have any ideas or something you'd like to see, let me know, either in the comments or by email. And uh, I guess that's all for now. Thanks for watching.